Thank you all for joining in today. I'm Shilpa, I'm a product manager on Jira, and I'm super excited to announce that soon Jira projects will be called Jira Spaces. This is part of our overall effort to evolve Jira terminology to represent all work for all themes. Projects um, will be called Jira Spaces in all Jira Cloud products, including Jira, Jira Product Discovery, Jira Service Management, and all other Atlassian products that use this specific terminology. So you'll see all these changes coming through consistently across all these products that I just mentioned. However, please note that this is just a terminology change. Everything else about how you use Jira projects today will continue to stay the same. There are no changes to that. So the question, why are we making this change, right? Think about this term called project. Projects typically represent time-bound work. They have a start and an end date. It, they have typically well-defined scope. And they also contribute to a goal. However, today, Jira teams use projects in a very different way. They use it as an evergreen container for all their work, not just for time-bound projects. So what are the benefits of making this change? Space as a term better reflects how teams actually use Jira. Space is a more flexible, scalable container for all work, including time-bound projects and evergreen ad hoc work or BAU work as you may call it. Also having this term allows us to standardize container terminology across Jira, Confluence, and Loom, which are part of our teamwork collection. And it allows us to support a very consistent and unified experience across all these products. And also it'll really have, help us have a very clear separation between a Classian project and Jira spaces. So to summarize it all, while Jira space is a container where all teams do their work, Atlassian project is a purpose-built entity to track the progress of time-bound work, which has defined timelines, which has goals and stakeholders. So that's how it brings together um, this whole change. Most importantly, talking about what's changing and what's not, the most important part of it is this is just a terminology update. Like I said earlier, everything else about how you use your containers will remain the same. All your workflows, your automations, your APIs, your filters, JQLs, everything will continue to function as you've been using them so far. So we'll start rolling out these changes starting end of this month, and it will go through its own cycles, and we will complete by uh, December across all the editions. I'll quickly take you into what it, it looks like in product. When you log into a Jira instance where this change has been applied, you will see a brand new tab on your left, left nav called Spaces. It also has a brand new icon, as you can see here. You open it up, and this is where you see all the spaces, or formerly known as projects, all the spaces that you have access to. As you can see here, these are the overall spaces I have access to. You can create a brand new space. You can use space templates, much like you were able to do with projects. You have templates for software development spaces, work management spaces, and so on. And you could get into your flow. And um, if, you, if you see here, the rest of the functionality that we had on projects still lives here. You can archive a space, of course, if you have permissions, archive, delete, or get into the settings, and you could do all these things right here. Now, I'll quickly jump into a space to show you how space and Atlassian projects as well live together. So we're looking at this Acme marketing space where this marketing team works, and they're working on, let's say, these three projects today. They have a summer brand campaign with a specific date when they want to you know, close it and they have annual summit and, and so on. So if you get into this specific epic or a specific project, this is where you are tracking all your work, all your child item and so on. So this is where the team is actually working. And now if you want to keep your stakeholders updated, when you want to keep tracking it's this particular project's 
progress towards that goal, you could actually go and link an Atlassian project here. You can choose the project that you want to link it to. And once you do that linking, here you could see the updates, your, the details about the project and everything else right here. So Jira space is a place where you're working, where all your work is getting tracked, while Atlassian project is, is an entity where which you use to let your stakeholders know about everything that's going on. So this is all I have to share. Like I said, we'll start rolling out these changes end of this month. Expect to see this. Keep an eye out on this change in your navigation and uh, let us know if you have any questions. Thank you so much.